everybody. So yeah, you don't see me forever and now back to back videos. So I'm here with my trunk. Um, it actually got here a day earlier. I was expecting it tomorrow, which is Saturday and I got home a little early today and um, here it is. All right. I've taken the stuff out of the plastic, have not opened it or shook it out or anything. So we're going to see what everything is in here together. I did ask um, after I removed a couple things where you put any kind of comments, is there anything else that you would like? I asked, throw something shearling in there and maybe some Birkenstocks. And there's a pair of Birkenstocks in there. I'm not sure which ones they are. And she definitely gave me something shearling. So I'm pretty excited to try it. We'll see. Looks like a teddy bear coat or something. Um, yeah, so that's still in the plastic. <clears throat> My um, envelope is on the bottom here. So like I said, I have everything out of the plastic. Let's get in here. I think I've sort of fixed the colors a little bit so it's not so cold, coolish hues and like bleaching everything out. All right, let's get going. This already, ooh, so soft and squishy. I love it. I love this. Um, I love the color. It's Caslon. It is an extra small. And for me, Caslon does run a little bit big. So luckily, this is just a sweater. And sweaters are okay big for certain things. But I love the color. I love the pattern. Like cable on one side. It's almost like a patchwork. Um, and it's a little bit stretchy. So... I really like that. I think that's nice. Okay, next up, something stripey. I love stripes. I could wear stripes every day if they would let me. Okay, cute little, uh, like a cream and navy sweater. Two of my favorite colors. Put them together. It's kind of like a home run. This is by Treasure and Bond. Just a little nautical sweater. I would say that's uh, black and cream. All right. So far, so good. Two of two. Always a good thing, right? Uh, next up. Um, right. Always looking for the perfect white t-shirt. And you know what? This seems a little bit thicker. This reminds me of my grandpa's Fruit of the Loom t-shirts I used to wear, used to borrow and wear. Um, it's not quite as um, hefty but it's a nice feminine weight crew neck. I kept this in here because we're always looking for that perfect t-shirt. Like I said, I have yet to find mine. Perfect white t-shirt. So I'm looking forward to trying that. That's by Madewell. Uh, next up, not sure what it is, but it is olive green. One of my favorite colors. Looks like there's a little star on here. Probably another sweater. I'm sure I asked for more sweaters. Okay, super cute, a little bit longer, more like a tunic-y kind of sweater. Um, this is by Pistola. I do like Pistola's pants. I think they're really cute. Um, this is 148 bucks. Woo! Okay, a cute sweater. Would be a little bit difficult for me to spend that much on a trendy-ish sweater, but we'll see. Uh, give me one second, guys. I need to change something here. Okay. <clears throat> Still here. Um, next up, let's see what we got here. Next up. Um, oh, this is heavy. Okay, not sure what these are. These are by Jonathan Simkay. Um... They're like a um, 195 bucks. Wow. They're like a heavy sweatshirt, and they are a very very light gray color. I'm actually kind of intrigued by these. They have a little tie belt. They are definitely heavy front pockets. Um, I don't know. We'll have to try these on and see what exactly they look like. 
interesting is what I'm going to say. Super interesting. Okay, better? Worse? I don't know. Okay, um, love the color. Uh, that's a pretty good rep representation. This is by uh, Alex Mill. Oh, a long, either a sweater dress or a very long tunic. Um, not sure. Size extra small. We will see what this is all about when we get it on. I have absolutely no feelings right now other than I love the neckline. Oh, my shoulder. Still messed up. Next up, um, pants. I really love plaid pants. And these have definitely a 70s vibe. And I think my stylist said, I know you kept a couple of um, plaid pants we sent you in the past, which she is correct. I have. So she said she put these in there. And um, they are definitely flare. They remind me of the Brady's. Am I right? So I would totally wear these because that's how I roll. My only thing is they say this is a size 6 um, by Topshop, and Topshop is British. I remember going into the Top Shops while I was there. Um, so that may be the equivalent. I'm pretty sure it is. Like um, US 2 is a UK 6, but this says UK 10, US 6. So we'll try them. You know, I can always swap them out for a smaller size. Those are cute. If that little sweater thingy that I just had, a sweater dress or whatever, was uh, shorter like a sweater, that would look really cute with those pants. Okay, next up, looks like a sweatshirt. Oh, wait, I think I remember this from my preview. It was sort of like, all right, let's throw something like this on. Sort of like a sweatshirt dress. Kind of crazy, but kind of cozy, too. Like... When you're sitting by the fire, you got your leggings on, you could just pull something like this on. And it'll keep you warm. This is by Zella. Um, we're going to see what this is like. Again, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of things in here that I am intrigued by. Not anything I would necessarily pick myself that I would be drawn to them, but you never know. And I love having the opportunity here. Um, and I put this in here. It's just a little, a little bra, a little non-underwire bra um, that's one of the things that I picked to throw in there and we're uh, gonna pull out our shirling item I'm guessing it's probably tied at the bottom there we go there we go this would be great for probably fall or spring oh my shoulder um okay so ouch Oh, this is by Treasure and Bond. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty expensive. I don't see a tag, so I have to read the invoice. Um, this is cute. Scares me with the color, at least in the winter. Um, and I've tried teddy coats before, and they've always looked like robes to me, at least on me. Um, I, I don't know what that is about because other girls wear them and they look super cute. So this might look a little bit different given the shape given the length, given the sleeve, um, and the color, and the different type of, uh, it's, it's a faux shearling. So, looking forward to that. Oh, I found the price. $149. Okay, now let's get into the shoes that are in here. I don't know which ones those are. And another pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Here's my my list of things. I'm sure it's going to be real expensive because it's already expensive. Just what I have looked at. Most expensive thing is 149 the coat. It's really not bad. No, I'm sure. Sorry. Oh, 160. Okay. Let's open this big old Jeffrey Campbell box. Okay, again, another lug sole boot. Um, like I said, I think I mentioned um, I kept a pair of Chelsea boots 
in my last trunk that I absolutely love, but I have not worn them because it has been snowy and slushy and dirty. And they are a suede. They're really, they're a beautiful boot. So I haven't worn them yet. And these are waterproof. Uh, not super sure. They look huge right now. They look super big. Um, they are, are they my size? Doesn't really say. I guess I'll find out when I'll try them on. I don't actually see the size on the outside of the box, but probably not looking in the right place. But these are kind of cool. I do like the color. They're like um, a brownish burgundy. I definitely do not have any. Closest to these are my Doc Martens that are the Oxblood. That are super, super hard to find that color anywhere, but luckily I was able to find a pair. And I do wear those often because they go with a lot. And then, I don't know what these are. We're going to see. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I asked for Sherling. It looks like she gave me some Arizonas with some Sherling. I love them. They look so cozy. Um, these are the most expensive thing in here. They are 160 bucks. But my goodness, and they are the original floor. They're not the Brickle floor, the soft ones, which, um, you know, I do have a pair with the Brickle floors, and I love them. They're so comfortable. So, oh, my goodness. So that, my friends, is my trunk, and I'm actually pretty excited. I haven't really been this stoked about a trunk in a long time. Um Maybe it's the feedback. Maybe it's the, um, I don't know. I really don't know. It's got to be that. Uh, but this is really good, and um, I'll get to trying these on sometime. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I'm excited about this. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. So I'm wearing the Arizona... Sherling slide sandal from Birkenstocks, which I'm already in trouble with. I can tell you right now, they are so <laughs> comfortable and cozy and just, they fit me perfectly. And these are 160. Um, and then I'm wearing this long um, tunic -y. It's the Cara Fleece hoodie dress for $75 by Zella in an extra small. Uh, I have this over the sweats I was wearing today. So, it's nice and cozy. It has pockets. Um, I would wonder what this looks like without, like, pants. Um, I'm sure it's cute. But this is just something that's really cozy to sit around. I would say more so just to, to sit around in the house, on the couch, in front of the fireplace, reading a book. Um, and then these Birkenstocks, yep, pretty sure they're going to be mine. They are so comfortable. The shirling feels so dang soft and just cuddly. Um, yep, here's the, the dress. You know, I'm not like a thousand percent on the dress. I would say I'm probably 90%. So it's going to have to be dependent on the other things that I try on today. I am also wearing um, um, a tank top under this. So um, I don't know. I think it's sort of sticking on the other fleece of these sweats. But i um, not sure why it's all like bunched up. Maybe it was packaged like that. All right. We'll keep going. Okay. And then next up is the little Caslon Mixed Stitch V-neck sweater. This is $69. Okay, this is, again, really just a comfortable sweater. It's cute. Fits me well. It almost has that, like, hand-knit sort of larger weave, something my mom would have knitted for me. Um, there we go. Now it's straight. But I think it's just really casual, really cute. Um, I love it. It's soft. It's cozy. It's stretchy. Um, again, this might be a keeper. All right. Next up, the Stripe not, ugh, Mock Neck Cotton Blend Sweater by Treasure and Bond. 
this is $69 as well. Okay, another really cute sweater. Um, yeah, I got this tank top on, sorry about that. It's just a nice, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, classic stripe sweater. It's light, it's comfortable, it's a really nice sweater. Um, darn it, you know, you love that, you love the stuff, but then you're just sort of like, darn it, that's gonna cost me some more. So yeah, it is like an oatmeal color, a beige color with black stripes, and I think it's really cute. Okay, keep going. Okie dokie, and of course, the little Madewell crew neck tee. Pull up a little bit. Okay, up a little bit. Okay, so, where's that hair? Okay, um, sorry guys. I also put the little uh, Be Active sports bra on. Um, it's crisscross in the back. It's really comfortable. It's $21. Um, and then the Whisper Cotton Crew Neck T-shirt for $19.50 from Madewell. Here it is. It's just your basic white T-shirt. Oh, that's the tag on the bra. Um, it's it's comfortable. It's cute. It's pretty slim fitting. It is a little bit more sheer than I had first thought it was. Um, but it is your basic white t-shirt. It would do. Um, man, this bra really makes me flatter. Um, okay. This jacket, I did slip it on before I started filming. Ugh, look at all this old neck. This is going back down. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, I don't like it, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, first like this, it looks, you know, kind of cute. It's really big in the arms. It's really long. But here's what I don't like. I don't like this. Why can I never think of things that are what they're called? Um, this longer in the back, shorter up front, tulip. No, that's not a tulip. I can't remember. But I don't, I don't like that style. It would be really cute if it was straight across, and I have no doubt I could find a coat that was straight across. Um, but it is, I would say, it feels warm. It feels comfortable. It feels cozy. Very wide in the arms. I'm sure for putting over bulky sweaters, um, it's almost like a shirt other than a jacket. And it does go way past your fanny, like about to my mid thigh in the back. So, yeah, you know, it's okay. I'm kind of bummed because um, it is warm and cozy and it is somewhat what I was looking for. And it still has the. Um, thingamajig on it. I wonder how that got through at UPS, but whatever. Okay, so that's, um, yep, the little jacket. Oh, let me tell you what it is, just in case you were interested in it. Um, this is the Treasure and Bond Teddy Fleece Jacket for $149. And the color is ivory. Okay, so the little brown it is a tunic, it is tunic length, and it is a tunic. This is the Loretta Marina Wool Blend Tunic by Alex Mill in brown, extra small for $82.80. So this is what pretty much makes it a tunic and not a dress. I mean, it was if it was together, it might be a little sweater dress, but here it is. It's getting dark already. It's, it's comfortable. You know, I'm not sure how much I would really wear it. I would have to, these are all kind of bumping it out in front, all my, my sweat stuff, but I'm sure it would hang just straight enough to be cute with, again, some leggings, uh, maybe some boots, maybe some flats. Um, I'm not sure. I'll try it out with some other stuff, but it is kind of cute. Again, it's comfortable. I love the color. I really like natural colors. I don't like bright colors. Pinks, oranges, reds, yellows. Ugh, I hate yellow. 
but um, I do like this from here to here. And then it is a tunic, so there's that. All right, keep going. Okay, here we go. This is the Daria Star sweatshirt. It's not really a sweatshirt. It is a sweater uh, by Pistola. Extra small, $148. And the Topshop Bengaline High Waist Flare Pants for $60, which I am digging these little Brady pants. And then I have the... Um, Cloudy Waterproof Chelsea Rain Boot by Jeffrey Campbell. These are $64.95. So I'll show it to you all together. Look at these crazy pants. Oh my gosh, I love them. They are definitely high-waisted. Um, a little bit big in the waist, but they seem to fit everywhere here. Let me get further back. Let me um, scrunch back out on this camera. So I don't have to go too far back. Ugh. Let's go back. What the heck? Sorry, guys. All right, let's try that. Okay. Okay, so here's the crazy pants, which I kind of love. Um, they're fun. I love flare pants, probably because I'm a child of that era. Um, and here they are with the boots. It's kind of a little hard to see with the, the boot, the little Chelsea boot, but they're pretty comfortable. They really are. They're a nice little rain boot come spring or even fall around here. Let's do my, what do you call it? Gymnastics. Yeah, I think they're great. So as right now, not this, this sweater is big. It's not necessarily my style. Um, it, it feels off. But, you know me, I always am a little off. Okay, now here's this, which I've noticed with a lot of super high-waisted pants when they're too big up here on me, they tend to bunch right here. Um, that's looking a little funny right there. So, you know, if they were maybe brought down here... Would that even be there? Yeah, it would. But you know what? They're really cute. They are pretty comfortable. I mean, they're just fun. Fun, fun pants. So I don't know. Um, we'll see. I have one more pair of pants to try on. Alrighty. So last but not least are these Jonathan Jonathan. Simkai Standard Stevie Organic Cotton French Terry Paper Bag Waist Pants in an extra small. And my bad when I said these were a gray, they're more like a pink color. And actually in the description, it says purple. So, you know, they're, they're interesting. They're pretty snug, as you can see. Um... They're actually pretty comfortable. I wish they looked a little bit better, but I think they're just, I'm used to paper bags being a little bit loose, unless these are just too tight for me. I'm not sure, but they are actually really comfortable. They're just not necessarily my style. They're fitting a little too snug. My goodness, they are comfortable though. Look how long this belt is. Um, yeah, so they are like a pinkish light to purple, which you could probably see a little bit better now. Not sure. But, um, all right, I'll be right back. All right, so not a bad trunk at all. It's almost reminiscent of the trunks I usually get. I don't know um, if they've kind of revamped. It almost feels like it because I haven't had this kind of more tailored to me with items that I would consider for a long time. And I'm really, really liking this trunk um, overall. Not everything I would keep due to price, and some styles are a little bit, I mean, I would wear them, but I don't know that I would wear them for that price. And I don't love them for that price. So um, I think it was actually a, an excellent trunk and that she put in the things that I requested. It was sort of like at the end. 
And I actually had sent another email real quick after they sent, they were getting it ready to go. I said, could you put some clogs in there? And they came back and they said, sorry, it's already in the process. So they added it to my next trunk. Um, but for now, um, what I'm really, really in love with is what some things are kind of surprising, some things not. You know those last pants I just tried on? I didn't tell you the price. That was 117 which you've probably already seen now. Going across the bottom there. They were actually really comfortable. Um, maybe if I was a little bit firmer, let's just put it, I would definitely consider them because they were really well made, real heavy, really like you were paying, like you were wearing sweatpants that were tailored. So yeah, I kind of like those. Um, all right. So these I'm not a thousand percent yet. I'm going to kind of kick them around a little bit. Um, I do like the rainbow kind of feel. Um, and of course the Chelsea style. The color is a chocolatey burgundy, I guess. What do they call it here? They just call it brown. So um, thinking about those, I think I'm in trouble with the Burks. Pretty sure I'm going to keep those Birkenstocks. Um, probably the white t-shirt. I'm definitely keeping this bra. It's comfortable. It's a little bit squishy. It is a sports bra, but it's definitely comfortable. It's not riding up, which I've been having a lot of problems with my bras. Um, so it's nice to wear something this comfortable. I think that hoodie dress that I was sort of looking forward to, I don't know, I'm going to try it with a different pair of leggings, uh, something that's not quite as sticky or maybe without them to see how it looks, but it is warm, it is comfortable, but I'm not super, super sure. Um, I'm considering the gray sweater, the v-neck sweater I, I tried on in the beginning, that Caslon sweater, really warm, really cozy. I did sort of like the mixed stitch. I think that's what they called it here. Um, unfortunately, the jacket's not going to work for me. I also liked the stripy sweater. I liked it more than I thought I would because I thought, you know, another stripy top. But I did like the mock neck. I liked that it was black and cream. And I have a lot of navy and cream. I know it probably doesn't matter. But, you know, I did like how it felt. I thought it was comfortable. I'm pretty sure I'm keeping the little plaid pants because... I love them. And I'm not really sure about that brown tunic. It was comfortable. It was, again, I need to try it with some other bottoms to see how it looks. But overall, <clears throat> excuse me, I think this was an excellent trunk. I'm actually looking forward to my next one. I hope, I'm not sure how they're doing stylists because my stylist said, hi, Desiree. Hi, Desiree. I added in some shearlings, some Birkenstocks, and a few more cozy pieces to finish out the winter season. Happy shopping. And it's not signed. Um, but I do remember that the person who sent me the preview, I think her name was Vanessa. But it's not on here. And I know previously you've talked to like three different people in the progression of your trunk. Sometimes different stylists in one trunk. So I would love to get the same one. Anyway, guys, that's it. It is Friday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hercules. We have an upcoming weekend. I hope yours is good. We are supposed to go down in temperature. Today it was almost 50. But I believe Sunday it's going down to 16 or some god-awful temperature like that. So stay warm if you are cold. And for my friends in California... I know you're having the Santa Anas. I miss the Santa Anas. Like, I can't even explain. It's weird. And I hear it's really, really warm there. So enjoy it. Enjoy your winter of 80, 90, whatever it is. Um, and yeah, give me some feedback down there. And I will see you guys. We'll see when. Take care.